Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a real video on Canva app. First, you'll open Canva. Once you have done that, you are going to tap on the plus at the bottom of the screen. And from there, in the search bar, you are going to type in real. After you have typed in real, you are going to tap on Instagram real. After tapping on Instagram Reel, you'll be redirected to a new page. And from here, if you would like to use one of their templates, you can. You can see the different themes right there that you can choose from. And this is one of the beautiful things about Canva as they provide you templates that makes it easy for you to create a stunning looking video. So you can select any one of these templates if you want. If you don't want to select a template, you can simply pull down. After pulling down, from here, you can simply see the blank canvas right there. And to start adding something, you can either tap on elements. And from there, you can search for something. So you could tap in the search bar right there. And if you would like to add something, for example, I could type in beach right here. Then I could Google or better yet search beach on Canva. And you can see I could tap on beach background. Then I could use either a photo or video of a beach. I could tap on see all. And then you can simply scroll along until you see a copyright free video that you can use on the free Canva mode. And by the way, any one of the videos that you see with Pro, that means that you would have to be a paid subscriber to use that particular video. But let's say, for example, I would like to use this video. I could simply tap on it. Then I'll tap on the three dots. After tapping on the three dots, from here, you could set video as background. And you can see that the video is now set as background. Now to add text to the video, all you'll need to do is tap on the plus in the bottom left hand corner. After you have tapped on the plus, you're going to tap on text. Then from there, you can simply tap on the text style or box that you like to use. After you have done that, you can type in your text. Once you have typed in your text, you can tap on done. Then from there, you can choose whether you'd like to change the font style or so on by tapping on font at the bottom of the page. So let's say, for example, I would like to use this font style instead. After you have changed the font style, you can also change the font size if you want. So you can increase or decrease the font size. And you can also change the color of the font by tapping on the capital A right here. There are numerous options that you can choose from. You can also change the format. You can also animate the text if you want by simply tapping on animate, as you can see there. So you can choose any one of these animation styles if you want. I like this one. After you have done that, you can see how it looks right there. Now, if you would like to add some music, all you'll need to do is tap on the plus once more in the bottom left hand corner. Then you can either choose to upload your own music by tapping on uploads or you could scroll across, tap on elements. Then in elements, let's say I would like to add some type of beach audio. So I'll type in beach once more. Then from the menu option below the search bar, you are going to scroll across and select audio. After selecting audio, you can see the different copyright free audio tracks that you can use. Although majority of these have a pro beside them. So you'd have to be a paid subscriber to use this. But typically you would find a few that you can use that you don't have to be a paid subscriber to use. So for example, this one right here, Ocean Waves, you could simply tap on it and you can see that it has now been added. Now that everything is to your liking, if I were to tap on play, you can see it right there. And to save it, all you'll have to do is tap on the share icon in the top right hand corner. Then you'll tap on download to download it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.